Hello, hello, hello. Jun tässä. Good morning and welcome to Black Mesa Research Facility. Yes. Tänään pelataan tosiaan Black Mesa Hazard Course, eli vaarakurssi. Joten lähdenkö lähetän vaan niin asiaa eteenpäin vaan. Tuosta no Hazard Course. Mikä vittu on tää Five Nights Hazard Course? En oo vielä pelannut tätä. Mennään lähe aloitetaan tosta Hazard Coursesta kumminkin. Let's fucking go. If you're here to see someone at the Habitorn payroll office, better just have a seat. They're not open for another half an hour. Bob. Bob. What? Customer. Oh, hey. Sorry about that. I, uh, it, it's a good read. Uh, you're Dr. Freeman, right? We were told to expect you. Ainakin on tekstitykset päällä, niin tietää mitä noin sanoo. Very good. Now, hmm. if I recall, you're here for standard HEV training. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Seems someone has made an error and signed you up for the security trainings firearms 101 as well. Well, <laughs> this is on file. It means the required personnel are already setting up. No sense letting it go to waste. So follow me, and we'll get you prepped. Oh dear, why aren't these sensors working? I hope they're not needed for today's training run. Ah, the salutations, Gordon. I thought I should drop in to welcome you, as well as ensure everything goes smoothly. They assure me that all the training facility software is in working order. Best of luck. Welcome to the hazard course, Dr. Freeman. I trust you've read your handbook, so we'll just skip yeah. ahead to the information you can use. We'll be monitoring your vital signs remotely via the HEV suit you'll be using. But do pay attention to your adrenaline flow, fatigue, any lightheadedness, extreme pressure, arrhythmia, or potential fractures. You know, the usual. Most of the course is self-explanatory. 
often literally, but we'll be around to give you any tips you might need, as well as mm. grade you on your performance. So do try All to keep right. a good show and enjoy yourself in there. The entrance is the elevator shaft on the left of the room. Come with me. Okay. You didn't have too big of a breakfast, did you? En ole kyllä sinun aamupalaa. Be safe, joo. Interesting. As of course. Hello. And welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it's suspended in the next room. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, let's get on with it. Now, oh, very safe day. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement. So, I see you did your PhD. Just one. Uh, good job. I know the pipes say wastewater, but you need to It's not that type of wastewater. Actually, it is. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, don't worry. I'm sure it's been filtered at least a bit. You'll be sprayed and disinfected before you leave the course anyway. For all our benefit. Lil. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. Basic jumping. You will try to run and jump over this set of pipes. Watch me, then try it yourself. Okay. Good work. Those suits can be tricky for a few users. Move on to the next area. You will need to duck and stay low to clear the next set of pipes. Moving while crouched will also minimize movement noise, making you harder to hear. Mm -hmm. Good work, Gordon. You're quiet as a church mouse. Yes, very much. We will now combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. Sometimes you'll need to get extra height in order to get over an obstacle or into a tight space. Try jumping forward and pulling your legs up mid-air to clear the obstacle. It's tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy. Watch me and then try it yourself. Mm -hmm. Easy.
Climbing ladders in your suit may be a bit tricky. Take some time to practice it here. I can't believe they still think we need to teach people how to use ladders. <laughs> Ja kun käden käy pitäis opettaa, kenellekään pitäis opettaa niinku miten kivet tikkaata. Ei se on niin vaikeeta. The next three jumps are more difficult to make. It helps to get a running start and lift your legs mid-air. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you're doing well. Okay. Great work! Now, there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own module seen here. When wearing the module, you will be able to activate it to give your jumps extra horizontal movement. When you're at the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. This is a prototype of the module, by the way. Let us know if you're Long jump any model. Problems. Muistan, jos hän tuossa kohtaa oli semmonen jännä se yk, numero yltti, niin päästä tonne niinku päälle halvefykkösessä, jota on pystyt sinne mennä nyt. Ei. Hän pystyy hyppää tolleen sinne, mutta joo. I hear the engineers are working on a landing system for the long jump module. Not that you're likely to ever use the final version, but it's apparently designed to prevent situations like this. Landing system on long jump model. Now that's the old one. You will find medical stations and first aid kits like this throughout the facility. Please use them. Yeah, come on, put two extra back. Tässä on muuja selittää sinkö. To spin that bridge, turn the control wheel. Please note that some valves or wheels may turn back to their original position if they are not fully turned. Tästä pääsee ihan helposti näin. Mut me ei oikeesti nyt haluta tätä legitistä kummasta. Tästä pääsee niinku oikeesti no, long jumpilla. Mitä vittua? Loading. Sometimes you need to rely on more than your suit to navigate a tight space or get past. Get past obstacles. I don't understand obstacles. It's too loppo.
Dr. Freeman, are you trying to speed run the hazard course? I heard you're trying to speed run. That's the thing I got. You might try alternate means of removing the obstacle. Pick up the crowbar on the table and pull the large crate to get it out. All right, crowbar. Control, can someone please explain to me why this guy looks like an orange tank? As planned. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, one HEV scientist coming in. Hello, trainee. Uh, oh, uh, doctor? You're about to be dispensed a standard issue 9mm pistol and ammunition. So yeah, you caught me a bit off guard. Uh, I can see that you aren't exactly supposed to be here today, but uh, you know, whatever. Hey, you're scheduled for it. They're paying for it. So let's make the most of it. All right, I'll teach you how to use some of my cool toys. There are three rules on my range. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot, and always keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and load it now, though, because we're about to begin. Hold your weapon in a two-handed grip, both thumbs forward, feet shoulder width apart. Put seven rounds in the center rig of each target. Bad at all for a first time shooter. I like your stance with your feet. Now that was a pretty slick relay. But your handling of the weapon could be a bit better. Don't jerk the trigger, alright? Give it a slow, steady squeeze. Okay, let's move on to an automatic weapon system. Head into the armory behind you. This is a standard 9mm submachine gun setup with an attached impact grenade launch. Grab ammo and go in, load up, and oh, I like the us. next room for you. That's some guy. MP5. Go to the marker on the floor when you are ready. Initiating in five, four, three, two, one, go.
trade our guys with all the weight on their gear, but, well, I guess that doesn't make much of a difference to you. But, regardless, just be careful with it. Remember, finger off the trigger. But, hey, man, look, don't stress too much about any of you, all right? I don't think you're ever going to reach a point in your life where you need to use a submachine gun with a grenade launcher attached to it, all right? I'm afraid I have to use it. Spoilers if you haven't played Half-Life or Black Mesa. Ah, welcome back. Did you learn something about security duty? Your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, notifying you when you need an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will drop. At multiple points, you will be given the opportunity to surface for air. Loading. What the fuck and why then should be read all over? I fucking know. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, you can step up to any charger to charge your suit gradually until the charger is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. Your counter counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also displayed with a luminous icon. 
Don't worry, that suit is properly shielded in all the right places. And this is a very low dose for demonstration purposes. The marker chemicals are probably just as radioactive as what we've allowed through. Even so, don't worry if your vision blurs a bit. Yes, that's perfectly normal. demonstrated, the HEV suit is more than capable of keeping you safe from any and all forms of damage. Please use the elevator to your right. you do not have personal clearance to enter. Explain the situation to a guard and they will let you through. Ask the security guard to let you through and lead him to the retinal scanner. He will let you into the final section of the course. Hello, sir. Take me to the scanner and I'll open it. Okei, okay, mennä vielä tänne. Saan katsoa mitä täällä on. Drop the gun. <laughs> Mitä? <laughs> Mä tehän kuulet sitä tää edem loopia. Tää on aika lit. Certified for use of the HEV Mark IV hazardous environment suit. This lever-controlled train will transport you to a location where your training associates are waiting for you. Have a very safe and productive day. Okay. This looks beautiful. Say cheese. Congratulations, Dr. Green. Yes, you actually made it. And in the 59th percentile of time used to complete it. The hazard course certainly shows us the uh, diversity among our staff. Yes, well, uh, Andy's numbers come from the person who questioned the best ones. A lot of the entries come from practice with the Andy Academy. Lots of hours lost in the years. Yes, yes, no need to feel inadequate on your first run. I'm sure. Nobody else in the HEV training had to waste time shooting targets either. Well, at any rate, let's get the good doctor out of that training suit and onto the tour. 
I believe there's someone waiting for him. Right this way, Dr. Freeman. We have a car waiting. Okay. Let's try to see another one. There we go. Let's try to see. So someone else, of course. For course. Joo, mä, mä lopettelen tämän videon tähän näin kanssa. Ei pitäisi muuta. Ehkä jossain vaiheessa joku päivä voisi vielä tehdä sen museo. Katsotaan jos jaksaa. Siinä ei ihan hirveästi ole gameplayta, se vaan on niinku katsot niitä leveleitä. Mä, mä tutkin niitä, niin ei siinä oikeastaan ole mitään ihmeellistä. Siinä on eri vaiheita noista Xenin leveleistä ja näistä. Mä oon peistä, eipä sinne mitään ihmeellä, mutta joo, mä lopettelen videon, se on mun moro.